Oh, well, Em, don't you look ravishing this evening? Oh, 007, don't start with a compliment. We need to talk. With a face like that, Em, you've already told me everything I need to know. <coughs> <coughs> and who are these gentlemen? After 60 years with MI6, you still don't recognize these two. Uh, you know me, Em? I like my liquor like I like my ladies. Aged 18 years and violently shaken. <laughs> yes, that's precisely why you're here. 007, allow me to reintroduce you to our workplace sensitivity officers, H and R. Pleasure to see you again, 007. Yes, uh, great to see you uh, again. Yeah. This, I presume, is R. Yeah. Charmed. So to what do I owe the pleasure? We need you to infiltrate the International Women's Poetry Conference at a Holiday Inn in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> That's not sexy at all. Anyways, we need to address some of your behavior that we've previously turned a blind eye to. Em, I can assure you, I've always been a proper gentleman. Hard to make Nah. If women were property, I'm sure you'd have no problem at all. Unfortunately for you, they're not. For some reason, you've been able to skirt by in the past, but your behavior has become completely unacceptable for the 21st century. Yeah, That's... if we allow you back on another uh, mission, yeah, without proper training, you're liable to cause an international incident that could destroy MI6. Or worse. Was yeah. Get yourself cancelled. Get us cancelled forever. Cancelled forever. Yeah, cancelled. God forbid we should upset Twitters whilst saving the bloody world. Indeed! Oh, yeah. So, to mm. better prepare you for this new climate, we have devised a training program to help you treat everyone more equitably. Mm. Do you really expect me to do therapy right now? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to try. To respect her. Respect her? I thought Spectre was the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'd like you in this scenario to just treat her like any normal woman you would meet. Easy enough. <clears throat> no! 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 James, no! It's not the 60s anymore. You can't just do that. Well, then what use is she to me? Rude! Jesus Christ. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 Bond. Well, perhaps that was far too advanced yeah. lesson for the first one. The next thing we're going to talk about is something extremely important. Consent. Yeah, consent. You know I don't speak French, Em. No, 707. Consent. Okay. Let me explain. Do you understand now? Hmm. So what you're saying is... I should ask them first, how cosmopolitan? Yes! yes! But if I want them to say yes, I need to completely destroy their sense of self-worth first. No! no! This is a disaster. We're obviously not getting through to him. I just don't know what it's going to take to get him to treat women like he does men. Wait a minute, that's a brilliant idea. Q, those glasses you've been developing. Thank you. Oh, last resort. We've developed these specialty glasses to help you treat everyone equally, hopefully. Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you happened to see an old woman around, uh, face like an angry dragon? Looks like it works. Now get him out of my sight. Where do I know you from? Is it Eton? Uh, perhaps Cambridge? I think you're ready, 007. I've prepared everything for your flight tomorrow, Boise, 5 a.m. And remember, whatever you do, do not take off those glasses. Hmm. Good day, sir. Oh, f yeah. Wow. That was an amazing speech you gave on the importance of intersectionality in dismantling our systems of oppression. Well, what can I say? There's nothing that stands in the way of class solidarity more than the artificial divisions we've established as a society to keep us from uniting as one. That's beautiful. Um, could I buy you a drink and we can discuss this more? No, thank you. I'm not gay! 